let us learn about cutting, layering and grafting which help in successful vegetative propagation. Here a mature rose plant stem is cut off. This is called stem cutting. The cut portion of the stem is put in moist soil and watered regularly. There stem cutting develops leaves and roots and grows into a new plant. In layering on a lower branch part of the bark of the plant is removed about 2.5 to 5 centimeters. This portion is bent and fixed in the ground and covered with soil. A stone or brick is placed on it so that it is held in position. It develops roots and leaves in 2 to 4 months. This branch is cut off from the parent plant and it grows into a new plant. This process can be observed in lemon, grape, wine and croton too. The plant that is rooted in the soil is called the stalk and the cutting that is attached to the stalk is known as the skin or graft. A small portion of the bark is sliced off from the skin and stalk to ensure a closer contact and a quicker union between the two. They are held firmly in position by tying them together with a thread. When proper fusion has taken place between the stalk and skin, which is usually within two to three months, the skin is cut below the joint and the stalk above the joint. The stalk, which may be of inferior quality but physically sturdy, supports the fused skin by supplying water and mineral salts. The skin grows, retaining all its qualities. From the above illustration, the importance of cutting, layering, and grafting in vegetative propagation is understood. <laughs>